One, whenever I'm sleepy or bored, because naturally I yawn, and as my hand goes to cover my open mouth, I remember all the times you covered it for me to train me to be a better man, since before that I apparently was an animal. Two, every time... <sighs> Sorry. Every time I sit with myself and write, because even though I try to push you out with all my might, you are still in every word, in every freaking letter, in every poem. You are a whole, as a whole, are tucked between the folds of paper of this notebook, like a ghost who found a home between the rhymes, and you just jump out every night, every time I try to write a line. Three, every time I call an Uber, and it's a Mitsubishi. And I still sit there in the passenger seat, imagining you driving next to me, till you get tired, pull over, and ask me to drive you around. And I never minded because I loved it when you slept on the road, and I drive slow, avoiding bumps and potholes, and hope we would never reach where we're supposed to go. Now Uber drivers wonder why my eyes are fixated on their seat. Bam. One star for the creep. <laughs> Four, you know what's the worst part of my day? It's that split second of pathetic hopefulness when my phone vibrates and I reach out to it with hope in my hand and prayer in my heart. Then that hopefulness dissipates into a flurry of disappointment and rage. Rage at myself for still hoping even though I know you're moving on. Five, any time I basically have time. Right after a conversation with someone who is clearly coming on to me because, let's face it, I might not have the looks, but goddamn, I have the charm. Thank you. When the conversation ends and I find myself thinking, that's not what he would have said. That's not how he would have flirted. And that's definitely not how you would have reacted, and I remind myself that I wouldn't find your soul behind the chest of anyone besides of yourself, and I hate it, but I still have feelings for you, I still do. And I hate that I remember you in the corridors of work and behind every door of my thoughts, in the darkness of my room and under the sunlight in that open air cafe that we used to go to. And I hate myself for ruining us, and I hate myself for not being good enough, and I hate myself for not being able to laugh now that you're not around, and I hate myself for going out with someone else, and I just hate myself. And I think watching you forget about me is a fair price to pay for allowing myself to go for days without being able to hold you close and just say that I love you. Thank you.